Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are having a really awesome weekend. As for me, I gotta go ahead and head into town here real quick to go to the clinic because I have a checkup, of course, and I also gotta go get some medication for me, you guys, because I'm running low on it. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I do have anxiety, which we all know anxiety, of course, is very common in people as well. Um, so, it's not going to be a big major thing, but we're going to head over there in a little bit at 2 o'clock today. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead, eat some breakfast, get changed, and um, also, someone wanted to say hi. <laughs> yeah, she's a really good kitty, you guys. And of course, um, she actually decided to sleep with me last night, so normally she doesn't do that. But, um, as you can see, uh, her eye is open, and she is a pretty lazy kitty, so... but. She at times she is pretty social, but anyway, like I said, I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. All right, bye, boo boo. Be a good kitty for me, okay? Don't worry, I'm not gonna get any shots or anything like that. So, but to be honest with you, who likes going to the doctors anyway? Am I right? So, but Boo's lucky she doesn't have to go because um, she doesn't do well while traveling. She gets really scared, but. That's normal for animals anyway, whether it's a dog or a cat, they always get nervous, you know, when you take them to the car somewhere like that, they're just wondering, what's going on? So, but anyway, I'll be back soon, boo-boo, I'm just going to get my prescription, okay, honey? I love you. Bye-bye. And I am back for my appointment, you guys. Um, it was kind of, I guess, alright. I did have to get a shot, of course, but I didn't look at it. Um, and you guys may not know this, but I am afraid of needles, to be honest with you, because... I just don't feel comfortable with it to be honest with you, but anyway, that's already finished with done and well But later on I gotta go ahead and put this uh, This styrofoam background into My girl Ellie's cage here you guys cuz believe it or not I had to take it out um, What a couple months ago when I was actually putting Ellie into this vertical terrarium for her So um, right now I just turned out the light so I'm gonna let it cool down for a few minutes and then we're gonna try and go ahead and put the styrofoam back in. I think we're gonna probably try and move the bedding up a little bit towards the, the doors here so we can have enough room to actually squeeze the styrofoam in there because I kind of feel comfortable putting the styrofoam back in to be honest, but regardless, um, we're gonna, and you guys are probably wondering where my girl Ellie is and she's in that terrarium in that little box there, so, but don't worry. She'll be getting back out of there in less than an hour. So we're gonna go ahead, move this bedding Take out down the light and then add the styrofoam back in there. Her cage is all set, so let's go ahead and grab my girl here. Hey there, yeah, I know, you're confused. Don't worry, honey, I gotcha. And uh, it looks like she's about to go number two now, any day now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set her back. Yep, go into the tree, honey, go into your plant. Yeah, you're, stu you're so sweet. <laughs> there you go. Nothing really changed in there, honey. Nothing really changed. There you go. All right, so, and I forgot to mention to you guys earlier that uh, I noticed a couple days ago she was going in blue, so, and you guys, if you look closely, her skin's a little dark right now, but that's because she is due to go into shed any day now, so, and, uh, oh, are you, oh, oh, I think she's, not too thrilled. Are you upset, honey? It's okay. No one's gonna hurt ya. No one's gonna hurt ya. Hey, no one's gonna hurt you, honey. You're all right. It's all right. Ooh, yeah, she struck that one there. You're all right, sweetheart. Woo, whoa, take it easy. It's okay, honey. No one's gonna hurt you, all right? I'm just gonna leave you alone. Just relax, honey, okay? Be a good girl for me, okay? Just relax, no one's gonna hurt ya. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave her alone. She's pretty old, and she did it again. I, again, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and leave her alone, guys, because she's pretty stressed out right now. It's okay, sweet, ooh. It's okay, honey, 
yeah, I gotta stop. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and leave her be. So let's go ahead and shut this cage door. So right now, you guys, I guess I'm taking a little break right now. I'm gonna be handling my boy Tyson here, my male albino checkered garter snake. And you guys know that I love garter snakes and I've always loved them since I was a little kid. And really, for the last few years, actually, ever since I actually got into snakes, I really wanted to own one. But never did I ever think I would want to get an albino garter snake, you guys. So, but when I, the first one I ever saw when it was on YouTube, you guys, I instantly fell in love with the species here. So, that was just really, really awesome to see. And you guys, I'm really, really glad that I have Tyson here in my possession because he is so sweet. He doesn't musk or even bite at all. Um, he can be squirmy here and there once in a while. Um, he's not 100% used to being handled, but again, he knows that I am not a threat though, that's the thing. Um, so, and yep, hi bud, I know, you're saying hello. So, but yeah, he's a really good snake, you guys, and he eats very well. And you guys know that when we had the power outage not long ago, I was really worried about not just Tyson, but all my animals in my room here, you guys, because temperatures got cold as low as 50 degrees, you guys. 50 degrees, which that is really cold, to be honest with you. And that's like brewmating temperatures there for mostly gar these garter snakes here, you guys, and corn snakes. But for, like, let's take, for instance, my girl Ellie, my children's python, at 50 degrees, you guys, that is freezing cold, actually, for a children's python, because... Children's pythons are native to Australia, and normally in Australia, it gets pretty warm there, to be honest with you. And these guys normally are tropical snakes, so, well, I wouldn't say tropical, but I guess you could say it, they are, but anyway, yeah, that was really, really scary, you guys, and I was so glad that the power eventually came back on. And you guys can see here, Tyson, um, he actually tried the best to stay cool. He didn't really move around that much every time I checked on him, to be totally honest with you. So, um, yep, I just wanted to take a little break and show you guys my boy Tyson to show you how he's doing. Um, but, oh, oh, it's gonna be a little score so, myself. Yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and put him back now. So, I figure you guys, with, for a couple minutes, we can go ahead and talk about what happened, I guess, with that with ice storm we had that knocked out the power here for almost an entire week. Um... Basically, what happened was, um, it, it felt pretty normal, to be honest with you, when the power went out on Monday. We didn't really think it was going to be a big deal, because our power's been out before. But, when it was out still the very next day, uh, we thought, ooh, this probably isn't good. Because normally our power outages last usually from a few minutes to sometimes a few hours. But for some reason, this one was different, though. There was a valid reason, because a couple days before we actually had... Uh, our power outage, uh, the forecast said there was going to be a storm coming, so um, we really thought they just said there was going to be a little bit of snow and a little bit of freezing rain, but little did we know that it was going to be worse than we thought. Woke up at approximately Monday morning um, when the power was out, I looked out my window and there's just so much snow and ice outside of our house. It was unlike anything we've ever seen, to be honest with you, because we have never, we've had ice storms before, but for something of this magnitude, I've never seen anything like it in my life. And um, it was just unbelievable. And we could literally, I could hear tree branches snapping like every one, every two, three minutes at the most, We I hear a tree branch fall. And that makes me wonder, I was concerned about maybe a tree falling on our roof here, but thankfully that did not happen. But with that said, it could have happened. However, but at the same time though, our power was out from Monday morning until Friday morning, which is about five whole days, you guys, so that was very scary, to be honest with you, because I was worried about my animals, including my girl Lucy here, who's actually just checking things out. I love you, girl. She, I was really concerned about her, you guys, because the temperatures at nighttime when we were not here, we were staying at my mom's boyfriend's house for a few nights there. When the, we were not here at nighttime, the temperature would get down as low as 50 degrees. 50 degrees, which that's, for most colubrids, that's like brew mating temperature there. And I was, and I was, I was worried, very worried, but little did I know that there was very little or nothing I could have done because when you live in a climate area where I'm at, you guys, um, there's almost very little you can do because you're pretty isolated up here to be honest with you you have only moment all you can do is just hope for the best and let it take its course but surprisingly all my animals um, survived so well I guess it's not really surprising but 
for me it is because this was went on you guys for five days with very little electricity we were using a generator that we asked for my brother to borrow and um we had we were we had to go back here to the house every four or five hours to refill the generator back up with some gasoline and it was a pain in the butt to do that but that's how the only way we can do it because and you guys are probably asking yourself well if you guys got hit by a bad storm how come you didn't have your own generator well we didn't really think about it you know and um well after the storm after we got our power back on that was a big big lesson for us so after the next time we're gonna get a storm i guess we're gonna go ahead and get our own generator so we're on the hunt for one online um so that's why i wanted to tell you guys what happened during those moments um while i was now filming so but again i am thankful that we have our electricity back a total i think they said like 20,000 people in total up here were without power so um that was a little scary well, even even right now there's still a few places up here that still don't have power so that with being said is a little disturbing you know because think about it, it's been almost two weeks without power and they still don't have electricity so but again i am thankful that my animals survived about that um unforgettable storm so um with that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and go and feed my girl lucy here all right here you go girl yeah she got it <laughs> Like I say, she always, always is turned on when there's food or she sees the taunts here, of course. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave her be, you guys. You are such a sweetheart, Lucy. In our evening, wherever you guys are at. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I always have the subscribe button right here on the left side as well if you guys want to go ahead and do that. I also have a second channel actually along with that as well. Um, please, you guys, I really want to get my both of my channels over a thousand subscribers here by the end of 2020. If you guys can do that for me, please spread um, uh, my channel around, whether you got friends, family, or other animal keepers out there, you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I promise I'm going to see you next week. Thank you.